Okay, guys, we got a 2016 Chevy Sonic here. Um, the reservoir tank is leaking. It's been overheating a little here, a little there. We had to pressure up to find it, but just so you know where it's at, and it is a common leak, it's actually right under the tank right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it's cracked right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this pulled off. So we're gonna start off with a pair of pliers. I'm gonna throw a little tank underneath it because we are gonna lose some here. Um, we're gonna unclip this, unclip this. Both of these are 10 millimeters. Got my tools here. Let's get started. I'm gonna pull this hose first and then these two 10 millimeters. Then I can hold it up like this when I take the bottom one off and that way it drains and I can put my hand over it real quick. So let's get those pulled. Okay, and those are just gonna squeeze together just like that and you can work them right off the hose like that. And if the hose don't come right off, just give it a little twist first to break that seal of the hose, the suction on it, and then you'll be able to twist it right off. Now let's pull the tins. Just make sure that you do give it a little twist if it doesn't pull right off. These are very easy to break. In this case, we're throwing that one away so it doesn't matter, but uh, if you have to remove it for a different reason, then you don't want to break it. So let's go ahead and pull these two tins. We'll set those aside. And now, see we can lift it up, hold it up, and now we're not going to lose as much. And again, make sure you have a jug underneath there, which we do. Okay, my lid, ca my lid came off, so I just uh, twisted it really quick. We get the rest of it out here. And again, let me see if you can see that crack now. Right there. Crack good, that's where she was leaking. So, all right, let's get that new one and let's get it installed. We're just gonna do everything backwards. Okay, so a couple things I noticed. If you do need the new one, by the way, it is a Dorman part number 603386. A couple things that I noticed that I like. One, hardly ever do they come with a reservoir cap. You have to buy that separate. So we have a new one. So if that cap was an issue to where it was leaking a little bit, solve that problem. And two, remember we talked about these like to break? The new Dormans put a little piece of metal inside there to help make those a little stronger. So nice. All right, let's get the hose on. Um, I like to do the bottom hose. You can do it backwards. Like I said, it's probably east, but easiest and uh but uh, that is exactly how i'm going to do it i'm going to do the bottom hose then we'll bolt these on and we'll put the top one on okay if you didn't notice when you took this off you lifted it up a little bit if you just try to slide it back on it's not going to go that little piece of metal that has to be over top of it you might not have noticed it when you just lift it up out of the way but when you try to put it on you might so bottom hose is on let's throw those two tens in there the other thing that i like to do is when i top this back off with fluid it shouldn't take too much is I like to let it sit here and run with the lid off. Um, that way it burps the system. In this case, we haven't moved any fluids from the block or the radiator, just the reservoir. So we'll probably be fine with just topping it off and then rechecking it and topping it off again. But uh, if you do have a couple minutes, remove the cap and just let it run for a few minutes and then put it back on. So, and then we'll get this hose put back on. I'll tighten those down, that clamp, those two tens. Go ahead and run those down. Top it off with fluid, slide my clamp over. That's it. And uh, again, burp the system. I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click, click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.